Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to a day of five of our tournament where we have Dog Shadow Gaming playing as the mighty Skaven versus Jenna on occasion who's using the Beastman on the heel. Now if anyone knows Jenna on occasion, Beastman are one of his favourite factions and most aggressive. Dog Shadow Gaming is going to be literally fighting an uphill battle in every sense of the word. So let's go over the armies quickly. We have the Skaven on this side. So we have Storm Vermin. That was a good choice. Sword and Shield. I believe that's another unit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And we've got um, Clan Vulcan Tail Slashers. With their flaming swords. Look at that. That's so cool. So Clan Rats of Shields. Regiment of Renown. Behind that looks like we got two units of Storm Vermin. Sorry, we would with Hellbirds. But we've got the Regiment of Renown. We've got the Council Guard. Look at them all in white as well. Well, the first white anyway. And on either flank, we have a two units of Plague Monks. On this flank, we have two units of Doom Flayers. Oh, and the unit army's been led by Itaclaw, who's on foot. Quite surprising. He decides to stretch his legs a bit. On the far flank, we have an Assassin. And the stealthiest of all Skaven units, Rat Ogres. Perfect matchup. You never see it coming. On this flank, however, there looks like we will be having a flank battle between um, Skaven and Beastmen. And we have Chaos Warhounds with Poison. And we have some Centaurs with great weapons. Now, I'm not one for picking favourites. But one unit of Rat Ogres and an Assassin who's kind of hiding back. Versus a full unit of Chaos Warhounds with Poison and Centaurs with great weapons. It's not going to look good for the Skaven on this flank battle. And if they can win that flank battle, not only is that two good units gone, they can then get in behind. On the hill, however, though, we do have the Beastman army. So we got one, two, three, four, five units of um, Ungol Herds. We also have some more Centacles with great weapons and some Chaos Warhands that were poisoned to protect this flank. We also have the Black Horns Ravagers, so the Gore Herd of Shields Regiment of Renowned. Um, and then behind here, we've got these and this um, mighty party, a beast lord on a chariot, as well as a brave shaman of the wild on a chariot. And then we have four units of chaos spawn. Jenna, are you feeling all right? What is this? Four units of these guys. That's that's dedication, but there's not much range to it, actually. So um, that could work. Now, we do have what looks like the initial engagement on the flank. The Rat Ogres will do a nice bit of damage, but you watch, that Marams is going to plummet and they will start taking some serious damage once those great weapons start getting some good hits in. We can afford to watch this when the main battle lines draw up. I mean, over here, we do have the Doom Flares, but they're immediately getting caught out by the Centacles and the... Oh no! They will, The Warhounds will slow them down. There we go, the Rat Ogres have been defeated as expected. And then these forces on the hill dominate here. We do have the assassin trying to make a run for it. They have been sad. So Janet has won that engagement over here. And um, over here, yep, yeah, the Doom Flares have been caught up. Thanks to the Chaos Warhounds. They've been absolutely hacked to bits. But they're having a good time while they're at it. That's, um, that is important. But once again, oh, we do have um, Warp Lightning. Well, my favourite spell's gone down. Straight in the middle of that unit. Bit of a glazing shot. Oh, what's this coming down, though? Oh, very nice use. I mean, you hit some of your own Storm Vermin, but you hit some of them too. Now, this is the fitness. The Storm Vermin will easily win this engagement up line. But having all this Chaos Spawn coming in, got some Doom Flares going over here. The Doom Flares over there have been chased off. And in comes the Chaos Spawn. And immediately, the Storm Vermin have been absolutely destroyed. This is insane. And more Chaos Spawn have come in this side. And we've got Uncle Herds have got behind them as well. And is that hacking up at the Plague Monks? What Skaven? Oh, but of course now the back flank, um, the rear is being attacked by the Chaos Warhounds and Centacles, meaning um, Dog Shadow Gamer cannot commit his forces fully to this front line. And you see the forces of the beast absolutely smash them through. Those Chaos Warhounds, um, sorry, Chaos Spawn are having a great time. Another Warhound having a good time as well, but the front line's gone. Just absolutely gone. We do have an assassin in there. We do have Stormfront trying to hold. Got some more. The council get in there, but now they're being flank charged by the Black Hordes. And oh, that was a beautiful spell there by Jenna on occasion, knocking the Stormfront down. But oh, we do have an ability going down and more spells going down. This is definitely the battle of spells today, guys. This is an insane amount. These two are definitely there, and their wizards do a lot of the work here. Absolutely fantastic. But I fear that um. 
just the sheer numbers, the momentum the Beastmen have coming down that hill. You can see the numbers were in their favour slightly before, but now they're huge, like two to one. Um, what Storm Vermin and Plague Monks are there? Trying to hold, but as you can see, they're kind of really thinking about how it's like, nope. Do have the Saturn in there, but he's kind of been bogged down by Chaos Spawn. He, he's not doing well down there. If we look at an overview, yeah, look, the flanking forces for Genis now coming in. Got some forces coming in just to bog down the Storm Ver um, Vermin over there. Victories are in the go. Look at the Skaven are going to break at this point. Unfortunately, we do have... Oh, these guys have rallied, but have been forgotten. Yeah, there goes its core. He is going to get a warp lightning down there just before he goes. Oh, that was a beautiful hit there. But yeah, it looks like the assassin's shattered. So has Eticlaw. I believe these guys are unbreakable, but I suspect the rest are. Yep, everything else is broken. And it is now down to those three storm vermin against everything. So that is a win on Gen on occasion. And you can see, yeah, aggressive beastman play. Don't really see Chaos Spawn that often, but in this matchup, well, there wasn't that much. Well, there wasn't really any range. The Chaos Spawn just walked through it. That was absolutely insane. I mean, the first little knock was the Rat Ogres being taken out by the Sentinels and the Warhams immediately. Just boom, and then they had that flank, and then where there was nothing contested on the other flank, those two sides were able to pinch her in and take them wherever they wanted. The Ongols were just sent in suicidally against this main line, but um, Dog Shadow Gaming didn't commit his full force, and he couldn't because he didn't have anything to protect his flanks. Um, the Doom Flares might have been good, or the Rat Ogres used defensively, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Um, yeah, and he kind of had to commit everything just to stop the Chaos Spawn from smashing through, at which point then everything else got involved. And um, yeah, so that means, guys, for the final game of Jenna on occasion, Dog Shadow Gaming, um, Jenna has won all three of his games. Three battles played, three wins. Very well played there. Um, Cardone is just a Dark Shadow Gaming, but he has got one win under his belt, so he's definitely got that going for him. And um, tomorrow we will have the final round of this, um, well, the final battle of this round, which will be Falcon Total War versus Ragnarok Total War. That's that's going to be a lot of Total War goodness right there, guys. And then we would know exactly who is in first, second, third, and fourth place, hopefully, by the end of that battle. So, guys, do you leave comments below. I've been loving all the replies I've been getting so far. Do you leave a bit of love with that like button. And, of course, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's nice to see the numbers jump up all of a sudden. Um, people checking out from other channels. And, of course, guys, if you haven't checked out the other channels, links in the description are below. Do check them out. Um, give them some love as well. And tell them the shadow sent you. Yeah, and we'll wrap it up there. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you tomorrow for the final game of Group A. Till then, guys, take care.